Today's New Zealand house sitting adventure starts in Tauranga where we forage for food and ends up in Auckland where our new friends are a Norwegian forest cat, a rough coat collie and an absolutely beautiful Burman. Come along for the ride. who loves cats and dogs. And this is Graham, avid fisherman and hunter-gatherer. We are pet sitters, explorers and digital nomads. And together we make up Vet Around the World. Travelling to new places, having fun, meeting amazing animals, pets and people, as we journey, we share what we can with those we meet, and we leave a part of our hearts in each magical location, but keep treasured memories of these new friends. Come along with us and join the adventure. So today, we're at a park in Tauranga, and what are we doing here? Well, we thought we'd do a little explore, and these do look like avocado trees. And Graham's up there quick as. There go. Yep, there's an avo. We're taking the time to stock up on avocados because our next house sit is in Auckland, and who wants to pay city prices for avocados? Long branch is handy to help reach the ones that we can't quite get to. I'd call this a successful foraging mission. These avos will ripen up beautifully. The secret is to look in all of the little places like these flax bushes where the avocado has fallen after the last big blow. And don't forget to look down the slope where they might have rolled away. Can you see it? There he is. So that was a productive morning. And now we're going to pack up our haul. Look at that. Smashed avos at our place, on toast of course. But we're heading off on the road again. We get a night at a beautiful little Airbnb. Can't wait to show you. What you got? What you got? One of the locals has found an avocado. Does your dog eat avocados? Yeah, he's eating avocados. Yum yum. But it's time for us to pack everything in the car. Off on another road trip. One night at an Airbnb. Before we move on to Auckland where we get to meet our new pets and charges, a beautiful dog and two stunning cats. House sitting, we're always on the move and always having adventures. We arrive at this cute little stone cottage, our Airbnb for the night. It's called the Pearl of Whakatiwai. It's a fisherman's batch that's been lovingly converted into our accommodation for the night. Beautiful retro fittings and an amazing view over the Firth of the Thames. 
which is a haven for all sorts of bird life, as well as the fishermen. What a cute little cottage to stay in. And here's Graham. He looks pleased to be here. So what have you found? Just on the beach. Local forage. Doesn't take him long and he's out finding food. There's food everywhere. You just got to have an eye for it. Just around the corner is a beautiful olive tree. There's two trees over there. Time for a cuppa and just to enjoy the sunshine and the scenery after the trip from Tauranga. And just watch the clouds rolling through. Graham's checking out his tackle box. What's that going to catch you? A big fish. Always a reason to go fishing. You never know what you might find. A weapon of choice for the day, perhaps? Finish the coffee, check out the scenery, and plan the fishing mission. Where are we going to go? Well, the trouble, it's so shallow for so, such a long way, but there's a little bit of a sand bank, so it's probably a bit deeper either side of it. If we go soft baiting rod in hand, and we'll make our way down to the beach a few short steps from our door. Come along, see where we end up. Do you think we catch a fish today? The beautiful wild coast. There he is, getting out onto the furthest spit of land to try and get as close to where the fish might be. The beach shelves very gently, so it's a bit hard to get out to the main channel when Graham is casting. But half the point of fishing is being out there doing it and enjoying the beautiful nature and our surrounds. The Firth of the Thames is well known for all the wading birds that visit there annually. They love to make their home in the mud flats, shell banks and the grassy flats. Off you go! It's one of the more important coastal areas for shorebirds in New Zealand. Now how is Graham going to get back because the tide came in real fast? Who's going to get their feet wet? Now what? Um, and he made it. Now it's my turn. I'm going to take the more cautious approach. And yes, it was cold. So what are we having for 
tea. What are we going to have for tea? Well, Graham's busy foraging for oysters, but I don't think we were that successful. They were not in great abundance. Maybe the birds got there first. Here's one unsuspecting oyster. And another. Well, back to our cottage we go. Our lovely host has provided us with some yummy homemade bread. I'm sure that will go along quite nicely with the watercress that she gave us. And we shared some of our olives that we'd preserved earlier, so it was good to give and to receive. Check out that bread, yum. slab of butter on top and now it's time to enjoy the sun going down and then the moon comes up absolutely beautiful over the water breakfast time the next day coffee anyone Graham's favourite breakfast, hard boiled eggs and soldiers to dip in it. Do you mm. remember having this as a kid? What a good breakfast. In Glendowie, we meet Sapphire, the Norwegian forest cat, and Bailey, the rough coat collie, and Asher, the Burman, our new friends for the next few weeks. Our job as house sitters is to play with the pets and keep them entertained, and to take Bailey for his walks every day. We are lucky to be able to explore the parks and walkways around Auckland. We just love getting out and finding the new things in each area we visit. Bailey loves getting out too. Good boy. Let's undo your harness and take that off. Ready, steady. Good boy. Up, up. Up, up. Oh, come on. You're not going to be hot? Alright, now we're going to take this jump off the eye note. There we go, undo all of these. So Bailey's got a hyper extension injury of his carpets, which means he's done too many wheelies up and down the deck barking at the neighbours and he's stretched the ligaments in the back of his paw. So he needs a brace on and goes for a walk just to give it a chance to heal. And he's been very good about it. Yay! There we go. Yay, baby! You want a treat? Here's your treat. Here's your treat. Good boy. You're so gentle. 
we introduced both cats to cat TV on YouTube. Sapphire even looks behind the television to find where the mouse goes. And we get out to enjoy a beautiful winter's day overlooking the water and the volcanic island of Rangitoto. Anyone join us for a coffee? Yes, please. Any excuse for a coffee then? Yep. Join us next episode and get to know Bailey, Asher and Sapphire even better. And follow along a fishing mission right in the heart of Auckland City. Please like and subscribe so you can follow along with all of our pet and travel adventures. See you next time.